I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Susan B. Anthony. I take three fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, slightly curve line out, curve line in, curve line down, curve line down, curve line up, and leave it floating. I come right about here, back on the dot, and we're just going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, and leave that floating. I come back to the dot on the top and I draw a curved line down and connect and right about here I'm going to draw a curved line out, curved line down, connect and I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curved line down, curved line over, curved line up and connect. Right at this point, I'm going to draw another curve line. Connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw one baby circle, little curve line, another half baby circle, and then I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out and connect. I come down to this curve line and I'm just going to draw slightly curve line up, little curve line. I come down here on the bottom and I'm going to draw a baby circle and then I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line around it, connect and right here on the left I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line out, curve line down, curve line up and connect. Right here on the left I draw a curve line down off the page, right here on the right I draw a curve line down off the page. I come up and I draw a curve line, leave it floating, curve line down, curve line over, connect, fill this space in, curve line, curve line, come down to this space, curve line, curve line, and this space, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay. Now, her name was Susan B. Anthony. Why is she important? She was in charge of votes for women, the women's suffrage movement in the United States. For women! Exclamation point. Which led to the 19th Amendment they had to add an amendment, which is a big deal in the Constitution to do, in order for women to get the vote. And it didn't even happen until 1920, and Susan B. was already dead. So going around the edge, I'm going to put a dotted line border. Up across the top, dotted line border. Down the side dotted line border. All the way down and all the way over. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multicultural crayons and I'm going to color in this space. Now, if you Google Susan B. Anthony and look at her picture, she is a very determined, stern looking woman. So I added a little bit of a smile because she couldn't be stern looking all the time. So that's my artistic license. I gave her a little bit of a glimmer of a smile. She was so important. She had so much important work to do. I can understand why every time they photograph her, she wanted to make sure people knew she was a serious woman. Okay. She wore glasses. I'm just going to color in this space with gray in this space with gray. We'll give her some light brown hair. 
And what's interesting about her is she's so progressive in the way that she was thinking about women, about slavery, which she was an abolitionist, that means she was against slavery, temperance, she was against drinking, alcohol. She was very, very intense in her thoughts. So we're going to give her this color brown hair. This is all her hair. We're going to give her a little pink, just to give her a little bit of color. Give her a little pink, and then I'm going to color in her dress blue. Now I'm keeping this simple, because like I said, she was a very austere, simple woman. I think it was important to write these things so that you remember who Susan B. Anthony is. It's easy to forget who she is because of the seriousness of her endeavors. So we're just going to give her this. Now, if you wanted to do something in the background, you could, but I'm leaving it plain. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Susan B. Anthony all colored in, an American activist, a pioneer crusader, for the women's suffrage movement, getting the vote. Okay, bye-bye.